My next guest is going to be taking on Danny Roberts, Hot Chocolate, uh, coming up here at UFC Fight Night on June 19th. It's the Dirty Bird, Tim Means, back here on the program. Tim, how's it going? Going great, James. How are you? Doing well. Good to be talking to you, man. It's uh, great to see you back in action. And we haven't seen you since November. Uh, was that uh, the plan always to take this much time off, or are you trying to get in there a little bit sooner? Uh, I would like to lie and say yes, but uh, I was looking to get back in there in February, March, and I had a little bit of a of a biff over here at the new house and had to deal with an injury and separated my shoulder and got healed up from that. So, you know, push, push my fight back. And, you know, here we are. Good stuff. Well, the point is you're, you're back and ready in action. Uh, when, when, when did you actually get back to training after the shoulder injury? How long have you uh, been back in the gym, so to speak? Uh, it, it was right away. You know, uh, I wasn't able to box and kickbox stuff like that, but you know, I tried to keep my cardio up and, and, and hike and do some things around here in the mountains and just stay active that way. But, uh, uh, you know, as much as I want to say that, uh, you know, I want to stay young forever. Age is starting to, uh, creep around the corner. So I'm paying attention to those things and, um, been dieting except for, you know, when you're in your downtime, I like to eat cakes and stuff or whatever, but I notice that stuff doesn't make me feel too good. <laughs> it tastes good for so, about 30 seconds. And then after you're like, man, why did I eat that? And we all, we all face this, right, Tim? It's not just you. Yeah. So. Yeah, so even my mother-in-law, you know, she had some donuts on the table. I, I wanted a donut, so I took a bite of it and then realized I didn't need to swallow it. So I just spit it out in the garbage can and threw the rest of it on top. You know, it's kind of stale, you know, but she's like, you can't be throwing away whole donuts and stuff. But I just You're like, I'm a fighter. Food. I have to cut weight. This is what I got to yeah, do, you know, so I get it. I need a little bit of a donut, you know, but no, nah, man, all in all, feeling good. You know, got, got some old injuries healed up and, uh, you know, got to finish the year off good. Uh, last year so you know we're finishing uh finishing off our wrestling season here at the high school and state wrestling here so you know it's been it's been a, a heck of a year new challenges new journeys so it's been fun awesome and and big win in your last fight man mike perry that was a great performance uh, how satisfying was that victory not only just with the way you performed but also you beat mike perry who's a pretty notable name in that division yeah it's always a fight i thought i'd win you know i thought his best attributes was his boxing and you know i thought his best skill set played right into mine um, you know, and another one, I injured my back the morning of that fight, you know, you in really? the workout room and I couldn't hardly touch my toes, you know, going, walking out of the weight, walking out of, um, the locker room and stuff, walking to the cage. So I felt I could have had more movement and got a finish in that fight. I felt it was a five round fight. I was definitely getting, getting to that point, but, um, the whole, the whole life, my whole life, whole career has been about adversity and fighting through things. So what's another, another little checker piece on the, on the board to be a little bit of adversity to get through to make us mentally tough. So, um, overall happy with my performance, happy with my last couple wins. So, you know, it's just, uh, putting those pieces together in the room and staying as healthy as possible and, and then getting to these fights and getting done. You mentioned the back injury. Did that like, do you know what caused that? Or is it just old age? Like what, 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 what caused the injury? Do you know? Uh, I want to blame it on old age, you know, but uh, we were warming up and it was, a, I was already sweating good. And I threw one last hard kick and I felt like I tweaked my knee. Oh, okay. and the day went on. It was around noon as the day went on. The pain moved up into my lower back. And, uh, you know, I got caught in a body lock right out the gate against Mike Perry. And uh, rather than fighting it, I, I let him take me down and had to let that burning sensation stop. Like, I don't know if you ever like rip a rubber band, but if you watch it and it kind of, you know, start start to rip away or break away. It felt like that in my back. So I got back and I couldn't hardly sit up out of bed. You know, my coaches are having to help me carry all my luggage in the airport. So um, got back. It took about three, four weeks to get healed up from that. So I'm not exactly sure. You know, it wasn't nothing out of the ordinary. I just tried to throw a hard kick. Maybe I shouldn't have tried to kick so hard and, and just accepted that practice went good and moved on to the fight. But, um you know, it's been little weird things like that my entire career. So, you know, I'm happy to get a win when, you know, I'm 90% out there, you know. But I don't think any of these guys can say that they've been a full 100% going into any fight. So, um, this is what comes to the table when you're a prize fighter. Yeah, no, I know that feeling you're describing. I don't know if it's the same thing, but like I, I remember uh, doing squats one time and putting too much weight on, and I remember getting that feeling in my back. And you're just your back; it's like someone's sticking a knife in there almost. It feels like that a little bit. It's uh, can't mess around with the back, so that's even more satisfying, I'm sure, to get that win, knowing what you had to go through. And like you said, it's a theme of your career, so uh, very cool to do that. Uh, let's talk about uh, Danny Roberts here, 17 and five record. How do you feel like you match up against him here? Uh, good left-hander, you know, good boxer. He, 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 he has a ton of heart. He's not a guy that's going to quit. So I know he's a guy that's going to come look for me and, uh, and make it a fight. So, um, I think the fans are in for a real treat with the way our styles clash. Um, and like always, we're going to meet in the middle and figure that out. So, 
you know, nothing but respect to the UK guys and the Danny and those guys over there. Um, but I have to make a statement out of Danny if I'm wanting to put, you know, the third fight win streak together and get get to a fourth one and start asking for a title shot and things of that nature, beating some of these notable guys. I have to get a top 10 guy. So um, all due respect, but I got to finish Danny violently. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, how's the COVID situation over there? I know last time we spoke, there was all these you know restrictions and stuff. When did things open up? Because I know we're almost getting there in terms of you know things being uh, you know sort of back to normal, so to speak. As of like six weeks ago, we were still shut down. You know, oh, no our way. okay. So they, had, they had started sports back up for 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 the high school, and then you know I, I got the head wrestling coach job for the girl or for the boys, and my wife got the re- head head wrestling coach job for the girls. Oh, cool. Okay. We were 10 days out of our first event and then like two days before we got hired 10 days out and then two days before they canceled the entire season statewide. So we're getting ready to turn all of our gear and call it call it a season. And then they came back a couple hours later and said, nope, we have in fact been reinstated. We're off and running. So, you know, we we uh, had to deal with a lot of curveballs with COVID and keeping everybody safe. And what's crazy is we didn't have no positive cases in wrestling, not one in our in our sport, but. You know, track and baseball and all these outdoor events were, were testing positive and had to quarantine many times. But um, small businesses have had to remain closed until recently in the last few weeks back open. But New Mexico has been very strict on what's been going on. And, you know, we can get in a political game on that. Our numbers are the same all over the place. So it uh, it sucks on the concept that we had to lose a girl based on she was va- already vaccinated. Mm-hmm. One of our. One of one of one of the staff members that's tested positive, and she was pulled out the night before, even though because it's close contact or whatever. But she was already vaccinated, so the protocol and the safety stuff has been very weird, and it's been all over the place. And we're being told to follow the science, don't follow the science. We're following the science too close. We're asking too many questions. So the criteria has just been very weird. But with that being said, our kids met adversity. Our kids. We've had JV and C team wrestler kids that were first year wrestlers having to jump in the deep part of the pool and go against very, very good varsity guys and no complaints out of these kids. Um, so in a lot of ways, it's motivated me for my training. It's motivated my little aches and side ache stuff for the fact that these kids are having to wrestle in mass with headgear on. Oh, that's brutal. So to see, see their, to see their characters and see their grit and their guts, man, it's just absolutely motivated me the entire season. Our first season in, uh, my wife and I's head coaches and our assistant coach Bradley Spence, we pull a state champion our first year. So, um, you know, we had uh, one of the first girls in Moriarty history placed in state in Corey Zesloff or Zeisloff. Um, we, we, we just ended on a very high note with, with the team. And, you know, like I said, it motivated me to see what these kids went through and they did not complain. So hat, hats off to them and off and running to my own fight. Who have you got to work with for your camp in terms of training partners? Again, I know stuff's still, you know, not not 100%. So who are you getting to work with? Um, well, Matt, Matt Sem- Semmelsberg. Yeah, his Semmelsberger, yeah, yeah. From McCarty signed with my team, with my management team. So he came in. We worked a couple weeks ago together. Got got some really good days in. You know, uh, Ty Miller, he's an up-and-comer in our, in our gym. Been around since he was a teenager. He's getting to be very, very good. Um, just pretty much the entire fit team, you know, and Sherwin and Sadia Parker. Um, who else? Uh, Sherwin Price. They're, they're, a lot of the same heads are there. We've just been having to be more cautious with the whole COVID deal. Some of the guys have gotten vaccinated and, and covered their tracks on that or what they thought they needed to do. Um, but all in all, just trying to build our immune systems up, stay healthy, not take things home to our families, and just to do the best we can of, you know, working through this time still getting paid and not having to go on unemployment or nothing crazy like that you know so um long story short a lot of people faced adversity in 2020 2021 but lucky enough everyone i know with covid deal have recovered and they they're 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 healthy and and still here you know so you know to the people in america and the world we're we're all in this together so let's keep fighting Great message. It's so crazy. I mean, just like crazy, like small world type thing. I was supposed to interview Matt literally right now, but he had car problems. So it's crazy that you guys are training together now. Just uh, total coincidence. I wouldn't have guessed that at all. So hopefully his car gets fixed. I know we're trying to reschedule right now, but uh, just kind of a side note there. Um, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? You were talking about training camp. Who will we'll get to make the trip with you? It'll be a Tom and JJ. You know, oh, nice. I've, I've been with those guys since I was 17, you know, and I'll be 38 in February. It's been a long time running. You don't hear a lot of guys stick with their original guys very often, but um, we mingle well. We 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 know what uh, 
how, how to prepare for these fights and, 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 and how to change on a fly. And if they're yelling something in the crowd, I, I, I can hear their voice over anybody, but we don't have to worry about crowds right now. So it's, uh, it's pretty silent in there, but still the same same yeah. type of emotion. You're getting punched in the face, so, you know, your adrenaline's running high. How do you see the fight unfolding on June 19th? Um, it'll be a barn burner. It, it's going to be a back and forth affair, you know. So um, I'm, I, you always go and want to get your hand raised or whatever. But um, our skill sets are a lot of the same. It's just going to be able who's going to get to who first, you know. On our on my toes, um, been working a lot of my uh, on my eyes and my peripheral vision and then hitting lights and and, and and trying to get my reaction time a lot better and, and see things coming at me better. So um, all I can guarantee is it will be violent. And we'll figure it out. Talked about the win streak. You get another win here. Is that going to get you in those bigger fights? I know welterweight's a pretty deep division, but I mean, you you got a great run going right now. You just beat Mike Perry. Like, is that do you sort of see sort of a, a really big fight after this? Uh, if, if you get the win, assuming all goes well on June nineteenth. I think Robertson's a well-known name, so with, with putting a stamp on that guy, it definitely puts me in the talks there. And not just that, I, I'm a type of guy that. I have to earn it to start speaking up about it. And, you know, then a lot of my last few fights, I lost some close decisions that I thought arguably went my way. Um, I thought uh, definitely the fight down in Brazil. Um, I thought I thought I definitely won that fight. It shouldn't have been a split decision. And then when I fought below Mohammed, um, I thought that one, that fight was close. But outside of that, I had 10 days to prepare for, for that guy. I got there on a Thursday in Australia. I got there on Thursday, weighed in Friday, fought Saturday. Yeah, it was crazy. A so little bit of that time, you know, just a little bit of um, – there was issues with our traveling and flights and things of that nature. But I think Bilal's a heck of a fighter. But, you know, the the amount of time I had to prepare and uh, the amount of time that I had to uh, get there and get, get settled and stuff, it, it played into to being kind of a hard recovery and a hard weight cut. Um, so – Still fun fights, but back to the point of if I put one more together, then I can I can honestly start asking for bigger guys because you know I'd rotate a win, lose, win. They were all fun fights to watch, but uh, the W when the W is is what you need in your back pocket to be able to start asking for these uh, higher ranked guys. So um, I need this fight. Tim, thanks for doing this, man. Always a pleasure. Just uh, anyone you want to thank, any sponsors, any social media. I'll give you the last word. Yeah, I always thank my team uh, at FinHB, and I want to thank the Moriarty Pintos and, and the guys and gals that wrestled their butts off all year through adversity. Um, just thank the high school and, and, and all the coaches that are there helping all the kids. Um, thank my wife. You know, she's she's always dealing with me through weight cuts, and it's been a long time. Of uh, she makes great meals, so I always get always get hooked up in weight cuts. But um, gotta thank her and my kids for driving me nuts. You know, without them. Um, I would have stopped doing this fighting thing a long time ago. But, uh, you know, thank you to those guys. Make sure to subscribe to the Low Kick MMA YouTube channel for all the latest news, event previews, and interviews with some of the biggest stars in MMA.